just gonna acknowledge that and then move on. <laughs> um, so I've only read two months in, er, um, two months. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my February wrap-up. I know it's kind of late, and yeah. I only read two books in the month of February, and uh, I'm pretty proud of that because I feel like I'm slowly, slowly getting out of the slump that I was in over winter. And so I just wanted to talk about briefly those books that I read. So the first book I read was Daughters of Nuri by Renny K. Ameo. I read this with Jessica from Jessica Nicole Dickerson for her Brown Book Club um, pick read for the month of, uh, I think it was January's pick. Um, if you want, I can link the live show from that and also just her book club Twitter page. I'll link that down below as well. I gave this a four out of five stars. Um, I liked it. It was just, there were certain things that I just kind of was confused by, and I'm, like, not sure how it's going to play out in the next book, especially with the way it ended. But I think I will at least pick up the next book just to see what happens and to see if maybe the story gets better as this, like, series or trilogy or however many books progresses. Um, so I'm intrigued to see that. Uh, the story is about... These two sisters who don't know their sisters and they don't know their twins um, who live in this kingdom where uh, it used to be ruled by the gods and then the earth mother turned her back on them and all the, her and all the gods disappeared. And so now her the kingdom is ruled by uh, the easy, which is like the ultimate ruler. And they could think, like, he's, like, the, the god slayer because he kind of saved them from the gods, I guess. And he uh, made a decree in the kingdom to kill all the twins because he had, there was, like, a prophecy he had seen saying, like, the tw like a set of twins would kill him or something. And so from there, you're, like, going into the story trying to figure out what's happening and, like, all this kind of stuff. And you get, it's from the, both the POVs of the, of each girl, so you alternate chapters sometimes. Um, but overall it was interesting. Again, just the way it ended, it was very, like, it felt like it just finished the story, so I don't know what else could be written, I guess. I don't, I don't know, overall. <laughs> like, I just, I still, I think I still don't even know how I feel, just about everything. But, again, I'm intrigued to read the second book when it comes out, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but if, I feel like if you liked Children of Blood and Bone, you may potentially like this. I feel like this wasn't as heavy as Children of Blood and Bone is, um, but it has the same kind of, like, themes of, like, African mythology and, um, honestly, black girl magic and black girl power, too, so... If you like that, definitely check this out. All right, so the last book I read for February was American Panda by Gloria Chow. I give this a five out of five stars. I thought this book was so funny. Um, I enjoyed the realness of it because uh, I, of course, am not a uh, Chinese American. I never, I my parents are not immigrants, so I never, I've never had those experiences. So it was intriguing and kind of eye opening to just really read her experiences and um I enjoyed the romance a lot I thought it was adorable and I enjoyed the voice of the main character because she was so funny but she was so sincere in everything she was doing so I appreciated that and I liked how in the end like her relationship with her mother like got better so I appreciated that a lot too um if you don't know the story is about a girl who is Asian American and she was raised by two two Chinese immigrants who had immigrated to America and of course they kind of raised her with the expectations of like you need to be smart you need to go to a good college and like um 
so you can get a good job and be a doctor and like they they have these expectations of that they want her to be like the source of excellence and she doesn't even know if that's what she really wants and so throughout the story it's her kind of figuring out who she is and what she loves um outside of the traditions her parents want her to uphold basically um but again i thought this was really funny and really adorable so definitely recommend it all right so those are the two books i read in february uh hopefully you enjoyed watching this i can tell you that i'm already off to a good start for march so we'll see how much goes uh if you have any questions comments concerns whatever please comment those down below if you like the video please like it down below if you're not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and see leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea from my friend sylvia from wish fulfillment and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.